Hello and welcome to this week's Vaticano Updates, the most important news from the Holy Father and the Vatican. The Vatican announced that the canopy over the main altar of St. Peter's Basilica will undergo a major restoration. The project expected to be completed just before the start of the Catholic Church's Jubilee year in December will require scaffolding to be set up around the canopy of the Basilica's main altar for nearly a year. The restoration will cost more than 750,000 US dollars, which the Knights of Columbus will fund, and it will be carried out by the Vatican Museum's expert art restorers. The regime of Nicaraguan dictator Daniel Ortega released and sent to the Vatican two imprisoned Nicaraguan bishops along with 15 priests and seminarians. Among those released was Bishop Rolando Alvarez of Matagalpa and Bishop Isidoro Mora of Siuna. According to Vatican News, the released clerics arrived in Rome and were welcomed as guests of the Holy See. Vatican City has new tenants, seven nuns from Argentina who, at the request of Pope Francis, will live in Mater Ecclesia, the monastery where Pope Benedict XVI resided for almost a decade following his resignation from the papacy. The group consists of six Benedictine nuns and their abbess who were previously living in the town of Victoria, located in Buenos Aires province. Cardinal Pierre Battista Biezza Bala, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, met with Pope Francis to discuss the situation in the Middle East. According to the Cardinal, they spoke about the state of the dialogue in the region and the prospects for peace. We have to think in stages, the Cardinal told journalists afterwards and added sadly, there will be no immediate solution. In February, Pope Francis will canonize Argentina's first female saint. He'll preside over the canonization mass for Blessed Maria Antonia of St. Joseph on February the 11th in St. Peter's Basilica. Maria Antonia was proclaimed venerable by Pope Benedict XVI in 2010 and was later beatified by Pope Francis in 2016. Thank you so much for watching this week's Vaticano Updates. In Rome, Andreas Tonhauser for EWTN Vaticano.